Well, we got about five minutes to go. I need about a half a dozen nitros. It's it's truly unbelievable. I got the front table, the social distancing table at front. We work on the back table. I got my note. You can't put any uh, tablecloths or anything down. So I got my knife sign hanging in the air. I got my rotter sign hanging on the tent. I mean, yeah, hanging on the tent. And I got my other sign hanging on the side over here. And I got my first customer of the day, the big pair of hedge trimmers. Okay, I got to go to work. Two wolf sauce, a hankle. And a cordon bleu, Japan. Japanese big chef knife, five pair of scissors. It's going to be a scissor kind of day, I think. Well, it's uh, somewhat slow on the knife end, unless it changes. We'll take a spin through here and see what's going on. The second best of it, the Donut Factory. I don't come up this way much because this is the first time I've been here. This guy makes bowls. Look at that. That's pretty spiffy right there now. Yes, sir. Reed. <laughs> Bowser. Jewelry. So you're the wood turning guy. Huh? Yeah, I am. Ooh. How are you doing today? Well, I got the inner tube for my uh, hooker rig, this rig right here. She's getting close to being ready. Well, it was a slow day at the King's Grant Farmer's Market. I think we did five knives and sharpened seven pairs of scissors, one loafer, and I think that was it. I got more knives when I got home than I did at the market. These were waiting in my milk box when I got home. Two shuns, uh, Henkel International, uh, M. Myrari, I can't say it, and a really nice Victor Knox cleaver. I believe this is the first Victor Knox cleaver I've ever sharpened. Matter of fact, I didn't even know Victor Knox made a cleaver like, a vegetable cleaver like this. But there it sits. Nice taquito. This is a nice taquito too. I sharpen quite a few of these though. It's pretty nice. Another vegetable cleaver. I sold a cleaver today too. Never can tell. 
Right there is our dinner. Called Coronado Chicken Berry Salad from Anchor Alley's. Chicken and berries and berries and chicken and chicken and berries. Some kind of lettuce in there. And that's rum right there. That goes in this gingerbread birthday cake. My birthday is tomorrow. I'm going to be older tomorrow. Gingerbread. It's always amazed me how I get them. There's a gathering wrapped up in this towel. I don't know how many. And then I get this bag full. <laughs> See, I hang it all out the bag. I wonder I ever got them home. Like 14 in there, I think. Gracious me. And here's the ones I got late yesterday afternoon. Some nice stuff in here. I think I told you about them already. We'll have to get into these babies and see what's here. Well, that was what was in the bag. 13 nice wood stalls and some kind of blue I can't make it out that's a good order right there in itself let's get into that towel well there's in the towel right there four Cuisinarts, arts a few odds and ends a nice cut cove a nice Chicago cutlery Cafalon, three pair of scissors a gathering knives. I didn't even count them. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 knives and 3 scissors. I gotta get to work. I'll get back to you. Well, the street's packed. That means there's plenty of depositors on the beach. That's a good thing. It's the tis the season. Great balls of fire They're everywhere. Well, we're all loaded up for the farmer's market. TV man's back. There it is. The van is graphics. Graphics on the van. That's backwards so you can see it in your rear view mirror. Same thing on this side. Back is uh, about the same. I'm getting ready to go out on two knife calls. Right now. I think it's might be two knife calls and a big axe. Maybe one pair of scissors. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. I'm going to be in the 90s. They claim. Well, my first customer at this on site has six knives, five kitchen knives, and a bench made neck knife. 175. That's a good day. But over here, I got Shun, Hankel International, Glory, the neighbor. Lagomar. Nice knife. Now I got a big axe. And one Cutco knife. Jack's at the spa. Indian is waiting patiently. Sometimes it happens with her, sometimes it don't. <laughs> Look at that hair. <laughs> there you go, Jack. Truck's in the shop. 
You're ready in about two hours, I think. It's uh, it's after one. It's after two now. He said late afternoon. We'll see. Stand by. Some breeze. Monday. I just got back from Norfolk picking up some knives. These might be the dullest knives I ever picked up. I don't think I ever seen anything as bad. Look at that. That one's got a tiny bit of edge on it. This one's got no tip on it. Chips all down the blade. God. Okay. We're in a major snafu here. Three miles from home when we can't get home. Creeping along at four miles an hour. Well, I just picked up two more now. I dropped off five and I picked up this morning. Picked up two more. One nice Japanese sushi knife. You know, Santuco. Near, you know where the Polchankles is? Yeah. That we see a bunch of little blue lights flashing ahead of us. I'm taking a left-hand shortcut here. I hope it gets me to a different old road that cuts in behind all this mess. Well, here's the two knives. Wustorf Santuco and the Ag Gagana Sushi Knife. <laughs>